ChicagoHoops.com, Hoops 24-7. Scott Burgess here with uh, the latest Kansas Jayhawk, Cliff Alexander. Uh, just made the decision. Why Kansas? Uh, like I was telling them guys over there, Vesca's coach self has a lot of pros under his belt, and I feel that he's going to develop me and give me where I want to be. Talk about your relationship with Coach Self and um, and Coach Jaron Howard. How much did that play a decision uh, factor into your decision? Uh, Coach Self been recruiting me since my sophomore year. And uh, ever since Jaron's came in and this summer, he just did, did a great job recruiting. recruiting he, was, me hard. he was really the first coach to aggressively recruit you. Do you remember like the first time you guys met and everything or talked yeah, back in the day? Yeah, we talked my freshman year, right in the back of the school. Okay. Um, talk about this system. Uh, that's the one thing that you've always talked to me about, that high-low system. Uh, fits your game really well, can seal and, and dunk. Uh, do what you're best at. Talk about how you're going to fit in their system. Uh, that's what he runs. I'm fine with their system. Just get stronger. Learn a little work on my ball, and I'll be fine. Talk about the Champions Classic that was here um, earlier in the week. Everyone made a big deal out of it. Um, a lot of positive energy toward those four programs. How much did that play in your uh, in your decision to uh, know you could play on a stage like that next year? Man, it ain't really my thing. Shut up, uh, don't take didn't take part. Uh, I kind of me and my family talked. And, we did a lot of talking and came to a conclusion that I wanted to come here. How hard was it to tell the other schools no, or did you did you not tell them before the announcement? No, I didn't tell them. Okay. How hard it was it to say no to those hometown programs like Illinois and DePaul? I mean, it was really hard, especially Illinois, because Josh is a great guy. I love him to death. Okay. It was really hard. Now, you uh, you said you're not going to sign the national letter of intent. Talk about why. We want to get a, get a feel of commitment, see how it feels to verbally commit. Okay. Now, are you going to sign later in the early period, or are you going to wait until the late signing period to sign? I'm not for sure yet. Probably signed in January. Okay. Um, when did you actually make the decision? Last night. What What kind of did it just hit you in the middle of the night? Were you watching TV and it's like I should go to Kansas or? Um, me and my parents was talking. We did a lot of talking. We can't say the reason I wanted to come here. We prayed, went to church, and decided that I wanted to be here. Okay. Um, who knew? When When you went to that stage today, who knew where you were going? Well, my best friend, Andre Pitts. Okay. Did you, did you and Jalil talk about your decision? Did you know where he was going? Did he know where you were going? No, I didn't know where he was going. Uh, I kind of figured he was going to go to Duke. So. And if he would have picked Kansas, would that have affected your decision to go there? Yeah, kind of. I probably would have went to Illinois. Okay. So if uh, if you guys didn't talk beforehand and you went on that stage and you just found – did you did they tell you in your yeah, ear? I was listening to him. Okay. So if he would have picked Kansas and you didn't know or beforehand, you would have switched to Illinois at that time? Yeah. Okay. And then lastly, what's it like to have all this over? <laughs> it was great. A relief. Focus on school of basketball now. Let's help come see. Okay. This is ChicagoHoops.com. Scott Burgess here with Cliff Alexander, the newest Kansas Jayhawk.